guys welcome back to the c programming tutorial in previous lecture we have uh, discussed about the storage class in c and all its types in today's lecture we will discuss its first type that is auto type with an example first of all what is auto type storage class in auto type storage class all local variables declared within a function belong to the automatic storage class and we can also say that uh, local all local variables are automatic storage class so first of all i will include some header file stdio.h and kunio.h to get access to the printf scanf and clr and scr first of all we will make an function function 1 and declare some variable suppose variable a and put the value of variable a is 10 now print the value a is equal to percent d comma a now it's fine this will what this is auto integer local to function 1 now once again we will declare another function void function 2 sorry function a function 2 in this we will declare a variable int a2 and make it a1 now it's fine a is equal to 20 and also print f a is equal to percent d comma a this is variable local to function 2 make it comment now take a main function and in this also declare variable a and assign it with 30 and print f percent so a is equal to percent d comma a now get ch this will print the value of a local to main function we are seeing that we have three variable that is a in function 1 in function 2 and in in main function but when we will compile and run the code run the code it's printed a is equal to 30 now we have three value of a but it is printing only a is equal to 30 suppose here we will call function 1 and also function 2 then what will happen run the code a is equal to 30 a is equal to 10 a is equal to 20 and a is equal to 30 we forget to include clear screen so our result will be better means a is equal to 10 a is equal to 20 and a is equal to 30 put here new line now what happens when our control of program goes inside this function 1 then we are assigning the value to the variable a that is 10 and within this block within this block 
the value of a will be 10 and when we will go outside of this block then the value of a will not accessible that is the feature of our automatic storage class and when we will enter in function 2 the value of a will be assigned to 20 and when we will go out of the function 2 the value of a will be not accessible and same for the main function so all the variable local variable we use within the block are automatic variable we can say that this variable belongs to automatic storage and class so guys this is a simple lecture on automatic storage class in next lecture we will study and another storage class that is register so guys thank you for watching this video and please don't forget to share and subscribe thank you